In this video, we'll find the number of valence electrons for iron, that's Fe. So when we look at the periodic table for main group elements, there's a regular pattern, it's pretty easy to see. Group one, one valence electron. Group two, two valence electrons. Iron's right here in the transition metals. This is also called the D block. We skip over iron usually when we're taking general chemistry, go right to group 13, sometimes called 3A, which has three, all the way up to group 18, sometimes called 8A, has eight valence electrons. But these transition metals, this D block here, it's a little more challenging. So let's take a look at the electron configuration for iron. So iron here on the periodic table, iron has 26 protons. That's its atomic number. Since it's neutral, it has 26 electrons. And we fill them out in this electron configuration here for iron. Sometimes you'll see the 4s2 put after the 3d6. Either way is OK. So we have our electron configuration, and we want to figure out how many valence electrons we have for iron. The way we do that is we look at the condensed notation for iron. It's condensed electron notation. It looks like this. So what we've done, we look at the atomic number for iron, and we want to look at the noble gas before this. So the noble gas before iron here is 18. That's going to be argon. So here's our argon. All of this is the electron configuration for argon. So we write AR and then this here, the ending for iron. These electrons right here, outside of the noble gas core, the argon, these are the valence electrons for iron. So iron has two plus six. Iron has eight valence electrons. So we're looking at the electrons outside this noble gas core here to find the valence electrons for iron. Let's look briefly at how iron uses these valence electrons to form chemical bonds. We said that iron, it has eight valence electrons, but it doesn't have to use all of these valence electrons to form chemical bonds. Typically, iron will form Fe2+. This is the iron 2 ion. It'll lose these two valence electrons here in the s orbital. It'll lose these two valence electrons. Since electrons are negative, it lost the negative. We have this 2+. Plus. The electron configuration for Fe2+, plus, that'll look like this. So we've lost these two valence electrons. We have this 4s0 and then the 3d6. The other way you'll see iron form chemical bonds is an Fe3+, the iron 3 ion. And its electron configuration looks like this. Here it's lost these two valence electrons and one from the D. So we end up with this 4s0, 3d5. So to recap, we wrote the condensed electron configuration for iron. We looked at these outside that noble gas core. These are our valence electrons. This is Dr. B looking at the electrons for the transition element iron, Fe. Thanks for watching.